Hello, gentlemen. Welcome once more to my videos. Today I have chosen the marine topic. In ship's topic, today I will be talking about the rudder. And in a rudder, you must be having enough knowledge about the rudder, the arrangement of the cylinders and the how the pumps or the how the pump how the pumps are pumping into the cylinders to give correct angle to the rudder according to the signal from the bridge either by the wheel or by the tailing motor. One thing I want to share with you is the one maybe this form of the operation is obsolete but it attracts a importance in the design of the rudder system that is the floating lever floating lever what is this floating lever it is actually a lever from this end to this end it is connected to three points one is the input input angle from the bridge at which the rudder should go either to port side or to starboard side and the point of attachment is the feed to the pump that means whether the pump should pump in one direction or the other direction and when the pump should stop it is given by this attachment, this connection. This is the, that is why applicant to the pump field. And other point is the point where it is connected to the rudder stock. And why it is called a floating lever is that as we will see further that if a certain input is given to the rudder say this input is given and now about which point the lever will turn obviously about the point at which the lever is attached to the rudder that means at about this point because about this point it cannot turn it cannot turn the rudder so rudder attachment is the strongest point so it will automatically give a tilt angle about this attachment to the rudder the pump will start pumping in direction so that the feed to the pump becomes zero. That means at that point no further pumping of the oil will take place so that the rudder comes to the required angle according to the input. That means now it will start pumping, the pump will start pumping and it will make the feed again to zero. So from this new point, from this point again it will make the feed to this point. It will bring back the feed to the original point. That means how? Now the lever will be pivoted against 
the input point. Now the lever will be pivoted against the input point. So the lever will move in either in this direction or in this direction according to the suitable connections made and again the pump feed will have to be made to zero so that the pump so the so that the required angle is reached and pump stops to give more any any more fluid to the cylinders and that is the angle at which the input matches the required angle so we have seen is that sometimes it is the rotor stop at which the lever is pivoted sort of attached and in next time it is the input point or the pelly motor single point about which it is turning so it has got two points of attachments that means it has no fixed point of attachment and neither at this or at this or at this it is free to move in all three places that is why it is called the floating lever so let us see how it works suppose the lever was vertical like this with the solid line shown suppose the input is given this much input is given so what will happen the lever will try to make an angle and rotate about the point which where it is attached to the rotor stop so for this so the new position of the lever will be this line about this rotor stop attachment so it will be the this line the dotted line okay so now what we have seen we have seen is that the pump has got now a feed at this point the pump is supposed to be with zero feed and now the pump has got this much feed this much feed so the pump will start pumping and the rudder will turn either in either directions so now what will happen the pump has to pump in such a way that the rudder takes the position according to the input requirement and the pump feed again comes to zero that means the feed has to be here again that means now it will be fixed about this point and the pump will be pumping in a direction so that the feed will again come to this from this point to this point so so what we have seen is that now the bar is 
fixed about this point and two points are free the rotor moment and the pump field the pump field is always free now the rotor moment is free and the pumper start pumping in direction so that the rotor stop feedback the rotor stop feedback comes from this attachment that means the rudder tries to turn in say in anti clockwise direction in the anti clockwise direction and the position of the rudder stock comes to a point it goes on turning and in the meantime the fin to the pump goes on decreasing and at one point the fin becomes zero that means the pump now ceases to pump any more oil to the cylinders of the rudder that means the rudder then stops to rotate now if we want to move more rudder or to give more angles to the rudder then again we have to give signal to the tail motor and again it will turn the rod and the it will now this process will again repeat and the rudder will take the new positions 